Digital exams are assessed in just the same way as face-to-face -face exams. We use the same marking criteria for pieces and technical work and we watch the exam just once, just as we would do in a face-to-face -face exam. We're really highly trained to look and hear and really assess the, the meat of the performance. As highly experienced musicians, even if the audio quality isn't perfect, as long as we can still see what you're doing and we can hear the audio clearly enough, we can assess that exam and give you the outcome that you deserve from that performance. No specialist equipment's needed. You can film a digital exam on a smartphone. They have great audio and visual capabilities as long as the resolution's good enough. There's no advantage to be gained from using professional equipment. Just record your exam in a way that you're most comfortable, in a place that you're most comfortable doing so. Things to consider when choosing your performing space would be to find a quiet, well-lit room where there's enough room to get the camera back far enough so that we can see your face, hands, and if you're, for instance, a drum kit player, your feet. You can find specific information about what sort of camera angles we need for your particular instrument on the website. It's really important that the camera is on a stable surface. It's ideal if you have a tripod, but please don't worry if you don't. It's a good idea to do a test run before you actually film as well. So record a short portion of your piece, of your first piece for instance, and then watch it back to make sure that the camera angle is good enough and that the camera's not moving around and that you can hear the audio clearly. Our examiners really are focusing on assessing your performance. So the audio quality really doesn't make any difference to our assessment at all. As long as we can hear clearly, that's all we need. If you do have a more professional setup, you might want to think about recording your audio and video separately. That's no problem, and you are allowed to use editing software to bring those two elements together. However, it's very important that you don't edit the performances or enhance the audio in any way.